The moon over the Sanford Junction, headlights in your retinas. Donnelly drove a grey hatchback without a bottom. All the creatures of the tarmac rose to sing to him. All manner of symbols crudely scrawled across the cliff face of my unrest. My life reduced to an electrical diagram. All my gulls have taken flight. They will no longer roost on these outcrops. The lure of the moon over the Sanford Junction is too strong. Fire and soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceilings. There were chemical diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee in, sticky at the handle where his hands shook. He worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been travelling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yoghurt to the European market. You could trace the connections with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink.
a sound of torn metal, teeth running over the edge of the rocks, a moon that casts a signal as I lay pinned beside you, the ticking of the cooling engine, and the calling from a great height, all my mind as a bypass. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge, and cast parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Returning to my car afterwards, hands still shaking, and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye Wolverhampton. Goodbye Sanford. Goodbye Cromer. Goodbye Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air.
blind with panic, deaf with the roar of the cage traffic, heart stopped on the road to Damascus. Paul sat at the roadside, hunched up like a gull, like a bloody gull, as useless and as doomed as a syphilitic cartographer, a dying goat herd, an infected leg, a kidney stone, blocking the traffic bound for Sanford and Exeter. He was not drunk, Esther, he was not drunk at all. All his roads and his tunnels and his paths led inevitably to this moment of impact. This is not a recorded natural condition. He should not be sat there with his chemicals and his circuit diagrams. He should not be sat there at all. run out of places to climb. I will abandon this body and take to the air. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. They've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent.